Get him, Jack. Come on. Double barrel, the old 16, 16 gauge. Yeah. <coughs> but it's a pretty gun. <laughs> yeah, it looks good coming out of the bag. Yeah. <laughs> Rick was telling Jim he shoots his 16 gauge Fox better than the 20 gauge Ithaca in his hands. We were catching up on old times since this was the first time in years Jim was able to join us in Nebraska. The previous year, Rick and I found lots of birds in this field near Grainton, but this time there were very few birds. I was down a dog too. Seamus died during the summer. Jack was still in good shape, but Feathers was going blind, deaf, and Muffin was going crazy. We would sorely miss Seamus. Cock or hand? hand. Uh, this is where it's going to happen. Yeah, that probably ain't the last one in here. <clears throat> Feathers and Muffin ground trailed a cock off to our right, but we didn't stay with him and he flushed out of range. Boy, they were both on that scent. Yeah. What I've taken to doing is just when they start doing that, because the birds aren't holding it all, I really stick on their ass. Yeah, I didn't. As soon as they took a right and headed up the hill, I should have followed them. Cock or hand? Cock. Yeah, Muffin did it again. Mighty Muff loved trailing birds. She pointed many over the years at the end of the trail. But these birds were combat veterans, trained by Seamus's direct attack method last year. They would not be easily run down or cornered. Of course, Muff still liked a good rabbit chase, too. Ah, that's what it was. <laughs> rabbit! Jim. Jack had circled birds in this field and pinned them last year. But there are a lot of young birds then. These old birds were like white-tailed deer. They kept on running and never looked back. There they go. Two? Yep. Cocks? They landed in this side? No, they landed right uh, toward, oh, you mean this side? They're the still road? flying. Have they gone over yet? Oh no, they landed. They're kind of on a, see this telephone pole here in the middle? Right. They're on a line towards that. Okay. Two of them. Yeah. So we left the first field empty handed. Yeah. So that was a cock? And? Uh, the one that came out here? Yeah, the one that came out here was a cock for sure. Well, not tail, but that's we had seen a cock fly into this field as we pulled up. Jack seemed to be sick of birds flushing wild on him, and he was playing it really cautious. Solid point, yeah. 
Now just keep moving forward. Oh, it's gotta be. See, he won't even go with you, he's so sure. Get him, Jack. Come on. Get him. You should. Somebody go get Bird. Good dog. Nice boy. Somebody come take this bird from him. Hold him. Hold him. Hold him. Good boy. Hold him. That's a nice bird, Rico. Turn him around. Cool. Good dog, Jack. Nice looking bird. You both hit him? Huh? You both hit him? I think we both. I think we both whacked him, didn't we, Rick? We both shot simultaneously. We watched a huge covey of sharp tails. Are they circling, Rick? God, I thought he had him. Walking back to the truck, Jim made a long crossing shot on a bird that just appeared. Oh, too bad. But after a long search, we still couldn't find it. Yeah, we're not done yet. Is he buried? Oh yeah, I can see him. Is he alive? I have no idea. I'll need help though. Get up again. Hey, stay, stay, Jack, stay. Shot. I still can't see him, wild man. He's right in there. See him? Move, move the grass away from Jack's face. So I'm, I'm getting an autofocus pick up on him. Oh, yeah, man. He is. Oh, he's alive. Alive and well. Is that incredible? <laughs> Don't let him go, Jack. Good boy. Good one. Good boy, Jack. He's still alive and well. He came down pretty good. Yeah, I thought he came down good. I thought he'd be right there. That's why I came back one more time. I just couldn't believe that bird wasn't there. Maruku do you good. Maruku do number one. Does it improve so much? Yeah, with sixes. Oh, ounce of sixes. Shit. One ounce. Yeah, ounce of sixes. Long shot. Pretty good load, though. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but that's yep. Sharp tail. Is that where that came from? No, no, that's sort of flying over there. I got a feeling.
Notice how Feathers uses an ear holder to keep her ear out of the water bowl. Well, we're near Bertrand, uh, north of Bertrand at a WPA. It's 75 degrees right now in Nebraska. It's just hotter than hell. And we're hunting the dogs one at a time. And this is Muffin's turn. She stuck her nose in a clump of cover and used that nose like a lever and rooted him right out of there. Rooted him right out. Wind's blowing at 25, probably yeah. guessing, guessing to 30. A hot wind, a hot, dusty wind, too. Yeah. Huh, mighty muff. Yeah, there's your birdie. There's your birdie. <laughs> 11 years old, bow legged. Or some bow legged, too. Okay, that's good. Dead dogs. Mighty Muff! Kenny Mama. One whip dog. <laughs>